Florida got through the game to which everyone was pointing, but here against Arkansas, is this the spot where they have to be worried about the trap game? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the SEC Preview Show, presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky Feed Your Wild Side, the number one Gators hosting Arkansas on CBS this weekend. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Spencer Tillman to break this down. And Spence, Florida has the nation's longest unbeaten streak at 15. All the emotion heading into last week's win at LSU, getting Tim Tebow back. This seems to be a spot where they have to be concerned about that trap game. Well, I think you're absolutely right on point. I think had um, Arkansas stumbled against Auburn, it would be the classic ingredients of a trap game. But I think the fact that they did wake some people up with aggressive style, particularly opening the game, 73-yard tromp down the field to a score, that kind of got some people saying, my goodness. And then the Arkansas defense surprisingly uh, stopped what heretofore had been an unstoppable uh, Gus Malzahn-driven offensive attack for Auburn. So you're right. In the classic sense, uh, but for Arkansas handling Auburn the way they did, they they would be in a classic trap situation for Florida. And, and the other part that makes that even more true is that some of those losses for Florida in its history, especially recent history, home. Auburn yeah. three years oh, yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. Ole Miss last mm -hmm. year. So this fits that billing as well. Let's talk about mm -hmm. Tim Tebow a little bit, Spence. It wasn't yeah. flashy last week, but he was good. He was efficient. What are you expecting in a second week back from a concussion? Well, I don't know. It's going to be surprising. I think that as the game went along, it was clear that Tim got more comfortable what he was being asked to do. I still think the fact that they had a package in that was designed to protect him tells me something about the symptomatic uh, condition that he was in. Whether it's caution or whatever, Jason, I still think it's going to be an issue. And we'll know in the first series whether they're still trying to protect him. And then we're going to see if Arkansas has devised a plan and if they'll be quicker to the trigger than LSU was. Uh, the option read attack that uh, Florida employed last, last week, it was, a, it was a bait and switch kind of deal. Tim Tebow never was designed to get that. Those were give calls. And we'll see if Arkansas really approaches it more aggressively than LSU did and take advantage of that and force Tim Tebow to ultimately run. Then we could have a totally different outcome in this game. And that Arkansas defense that was ranked 97th didn't look like against Auburn. I think they may be in a good position to get a favorable outcome. It, it maybe they're getting a little bit better. We already know, though, that Florida's defense is – well, the best in the nation. They are ranked number one in terms of oh, pretty much every defensive category. But have they seen yeah. an offense like this Arkansas offense? No, they really haven't. I mean, this offense is really special to watch. Um, you know, Bobby Petrino has done a tremendous job of uh, giving his quarterback multiple weapons to throw to. He's got a great tight end in Williams. He's got great wide receivers, even though their top producer has been down. Ha actually had a mild stroke last week prior to that game. And that brings up another point, by the way. When one of their top receivers down, they didn't miss a beat. They went in and just hammered Auburn and did all the things that their offense requires them to do. So I, I think this joker defense that uh, Charlie Strong, the defensive coordinator of Florida, has in place, it, he will be able to approach it because this is the way you attack it. You come, you take that extra down lineman, put him back in the secondary, more athletic guy, and then you got a chance to cover some of those slot receivers and then the more skilled position players on the perimeter. Uh, that's the way to do it. Whether or not they will be able to is another story. Well, Alabama was able to do it, and they have the number two defense in the yeah. nation, and, and Arkansas yeah. only scored seven points in that game. Uh, Spence, yeah. Florida won last year 38-7. to I know it was Bobby Petrino's first year. This is his second go around against Urban Meyer. Who do you like on Saturday? I'm going to go with Florida. I'm, I'm just not going to go against Urban Meyer. And I think he's a smart man. I, I don't respect some of the moves he made, particularly with respect to Tim Tebow, but I like them at home. They will not get duped like they did against Ole Miss at their place this year. I think their awareness will be heightened. I think Charlie Strong has the right defense in place to handle this spread attack, and I think that defense is committed to coming away with a win. I like Florida this one at home to hold serve and remain undefeated. Seven straight wins against Arkansas. We'll see if they make it eight. Thanks a lot, Spence. We'll see you Saturday on CBS. All right, Jason. We'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, which, of course, you can see on CBS beginning at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to stay right here with CBSSports.com. And don't forget, you can catch the game live on CBSSports.com here on our site at CBSSports.com slash SEC Live. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horwitz. That'll do it for the SEC Preview Show presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky. Feed your wild side. Take care, folks.